Yeah. Nicolet Han Nyman, I received an email today from Anna LePay, who's author of Diet for a Hot Planet, The Climate Crisis at the End of Your Fork. And she wrote that environmentalists were silent for quite a while on food. They had a blind spot, not because of a conspiracy, but she admits they had a blind spot. She says the conspiracy claim is ridiculous and it's dangerously misleading, but Enviro's were late to the food game. They were behind the curve on this. Well, there's, there is an aspect of truth to that, but in 2000, I was um, charged by Robert F. Kennedy Jr. I was a senior attorney for the Environmental Group Waterkeeper Alliance, specifically to work on environmental problems related to the livestock industry. That's back in 2000, and we worked with all of the major environmental groups in the United States, and I led that campaign for two years before leaving that job. But that was the beginning of a lot of um, environmental groups working, focusing on the environmental impact um, from livestock production. But I think the whole problem with the premise um, of the film and of sort of a lot of the discussion that's been had already is that livestock is inherently problematic, when in fact that's absolutely not true at all, because it's really about how it's done. And if it's done poorly, it can have a negative environmental impact. If it's done well, it's actually an essential part of sustainable food production. And, and having now worked on this issue for the last 15 years, I would say I think that there are three keys to sustainable food production, and those are water, soil, and microbiology. And in each of those three categories, livestock play an essential role. They play an essential role in optimal soil, in building soil fertility and in soil health, and especially the microbiology of the soil and in the whole hyd hydrological system of our world of our world and of our world food system. And there's a lot that's been written about this. I think this is actually the core of where the sustainable food movement needs to go. And this is totally ignored in the suggestion that we need to be moving towards veganism. So when you get rid of animals, you're actually throwing the baby out with the bathwater because they're an essential part of sustainable food production.